Okay, I love Deadpool as a character, and it's good to finally see some justice done for him in the big screen. Oh my god! Crimson's actually doing a rogue review! It's the sign of the apocalypse! Everyone run for the hills! <laughs> It's Deadpool! For me, this is the movie that has redeemed Ryan Reynolds as an actor. The way I've personally observed his career, he started off playing Van Wilder, and then he never stopped. And he really did a fantastic job, not just as playing Deadpool, the ridiculous merc with a mouth, but also Wade Wilson, the person. I'll explain more of what I mean on that in a minute. Like all good uh, intro superhero movies, this is an origin story, and we actually get to see Deadpool's first grand adventure, I guess it would be. The movie uses in medias res to start us off in the middle of the story, and then jumps back to the past to show us how Wade got to that point. It's executed well, and it's one of my favorite literary devices. And as far as comedy, this has been one of the funniest movies I've seen in a good long time. Immediately, starting with the credits, the whole audience was bursting out laughing. I'm not going to tell you what they did, I'm not going to spoil anything for this movie, but it's very enjoyable, especially if you pay attention to all the small details. There's only one thing that'll spoil us, because it's not a joke joke, it's not what they were doing with the credits, but uh, early on, in the very first scene, we see a coffee cup getting thrown in the air with Rob L. written on the side. Possibly a hint for Rob Liefeld, Deadpool's creator? Hmm? Alright, full disclosure, I don't actually know that much about Deadpool. I've never really read any of the books he's in, and I've only seen a few cameos of... Uh, that he's been in and shows and stuff like that. That doesn't count. That was not Deadpool. In fact, I saw an interview where Reynolds regretted uh, the choices that were made in that movie and said he wanted to do uh, so much better because apparently he's a huge Deadpool fan. And a lot, I think a lot of the reason why this movie did as well as it did is because of how dedicated he obviously was. So a lot of respect to him for respecting the source material. And the comedy goes great. Just about every single joke hit its mark for me. I don't think there was a single line in there where I sat back and thought, no, no, that really doesn't work. That's not very funny. Speaking of action, though, there are some pretty impressive stunts here. And of course, a lot of that is given even more weight because of Deadpool's situation. Now, if you've been on any kind of social media in the last couple of weeks, you may have heard about the, uh, the controversy behind this movie, and that is that... Uh, Deadpool is rated R and has some naughty bits that are not meant for children. So any parents bringing young children to see this are fucking idiots. Actually, there is a fair bit of violence and gore and whatnot, but I'd say it's tastefully done. They could have easily gone way overboard with this, but you don't really see that much. Speaking of action, though, there are some pretty impressive stunts here. And of course, a lot of that is given even more weight because of Deadpool's situation. His story is opened up slowly, but the way that everything is explained, it's one, believable given the circumstances, and two, entertaining because you actually give a damn about the character. I mean, even the way he comes up with his costume and his code name makes sense. And then there's the element I didn't expect. I came into the movie thinking that this was just going to be a goofy character having fun, uh, maybe a little bit of drama, a little bit of heated anger and whatnot here and there. The movie does a surprisingly good job separating Deadpool from Wade Wilson. Now, more specifically, Deadpool has a very human side, and that's something that I personally don't have a lot of experience with, but then again, I don't really have much exposure to the source material, so not an expert. But the writers did such a good job making him seem human that his struggles became uh, all the more believable, and I was surprisingly moved and, and hopeful for him. This, this movie had so many warning signs going against it. It was done by 20th Century Fox. It was being released in February, which is traditionally just a, a movie dump month. But despite all of those potential risks, I would actually put this on par with most of the movies from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Overall, the movie is fantastic. The comedy works, the action is very intense, the characters are surprisingly deep, Oh, and stay tuned for after the credits because there's a nice little hint about the sequel. And apparently, yes, the sequel's already being written. So if you haven't seen this movie yet, you definitely should. Everyone who worked on it obviously worked very hard on it, and they deserve every cent that's coming their way. As for me, I'm gonna go read some Deadpool comics.
shit. 